What's going on Pixel Hackers? Christian Loversitz from Pixel Feed here. In this video, we're going to talk about how to make Facebook video ad campaigns that get more sales. But before we get started, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and let's dive right in. So this is a strategy that I like to use when I'm trying to tell a story with my products using Facebook ads and have multiple touch points for the audience as I walk in through my funnel. So what I see a lot of people do with Facebook ads is, especially when it comes to video, they'll just create a video for the product, just showing off the product or whatever, and then throw it right there at the top of the funnel and then use the same video throughout every single campaign. I mean, if it's a good video, yes, you're gonna get sales out of it, but once you start moving people down the funnel, you wanna make it, you wanna turn it into an experience. So they remember the brand, they know who you are. And if they don't purchase on the first ad that they see, you take them through a journey where you showcase that product and eventually they'll buy from you. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. So the first thing that we need to do is create our top of the funnel campaign. So we're gonna go here to create and we're going to do conversions and we're gonna name it top of the funnel, right? So top, I'm not gonna get into the targeting and the objectives and all that because that depends on your account and your, um, you know, what you're trying to do. And this is about the, the structure behind it, not so much the targeting and all that. Everybody's different depending on what you're doing here. So we're gonna go to ad, we're gonna create our ad. So what we're going to do is, is you load up your first video right here. So let's say your first video is introduction to the brand. So you pick your first video and that's the introduction to the brand, right? So now what we're going to do is we're going to keep track of everyone who watches this video so we can move them on to the middle of the funnel, okay? So how do we do that? We go to our audiences, right? We're going to hit create audience, custom audience. You're going to do video, click next. And then I like to do 10 seconds of the video just to play it safe. Most of my videos are between uh, 30 seconds to a minute. So 10 seconds seems like a safe uh, place to start. I don't like to do three seconds because Facebook will count three seconds when somebody's scrolling by. So I choose 10 or above just because I know that that means they engage with that video. So you can choose any of these, but I like to start with 10 seconds. So I choose 10 seconds. Then you choose your video. I'm just going to randomly pick. It's this one that I just created. Confirm. And then we're going to name this top of the funnel video campaign one, right? I'm going to create our audience. Hit done. Then we're going to go back to our campaigns. So we're going to go here, back to campaigns. I'm going to create my middle of the funnel, right? So we're going to name it middle of the funnel, whatever. Continue. And then here is where the magic happens. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna choose your purchase event or whatever it is that you're using. And then under audiences, you're gonna include your video, your first video that it was all about introducing your brand and getting them hooked onto what your brand is. Uh, obviously, when you're showing the first video, you, you're going for the same objective. So if you're trying to get sales, always use the purchase objective or the lead objective if you're trying to get leads, no matter what step of the funnel. Because, it, you know, we want to tag those people in the pool that are most likely to purchase or do the action that you want. So now we know that these people watch the top of the funnel video, right? So we want now we know that we're going to keep telling our story by showing them a second video in the middle of the funnel. So you go in here and you exclude, you know, you, ex you exclude, uh, what do you call it? Anybody who has purchased and then you select, you know, you don't select anything else except for the placements and the, you know, the attribution setting, whether it's seven day, one day or whatever you want. What you're gonna do after you do all this is go to your ad level, right? And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna load our second video. So let's say you have a second video that, uh, usually for the second video, I like to use something like showcasing the product being used or an unboxing video or really showcasing that product in use. That really works really well. You know, unboxing works well too, but showcasing the product and being in action and using it in action works really, really well. So you go to video and that's the video you're gonna add here. So let's say this is my second video showcasing that product. I add next done and then i publish the campaign so now we have 
our top of the funnel and our middle of the funnel set up. So once I publish that, I'm going to go back to my audiences. I'm going to hit custom audience right here, video, next. And then I'm going to do the same thing, 10 seconds or whatever you want to use. And I'm going to choose my second video. Let's say it's this one because when you publish the campaign, it'll show up as the first one right there. And then I name it middle of the funnel, BBB, blah, 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 create audience. So now I'm keeping track of whoever watched my second video of the funnel in the middle of the funnel, but has not purchased from me yet. So now I'm going to go back to my account. I'm going to go to the campaign level and we're going to create a new campaign. Again, whatever your objective is, and this is going to be our retargeting campaign, right? I'm going to hit continue. We're going to go to our ad set. You're going to choose your whatever your objective is. Once again, set everything up. Exclude anybody who has purchased from you in the past, right? Because you want people who have not bought from you yet. And you're going to include your middle of the funnel video. So why am I only including the middle of the funnel video? Because if they already watched the first one, they already moved on to the second one. There's no way for them to move up to the second one if they haven't watched the first one. So I already know that in this pool of people are the people who watched the first video and then the second one, meaning the top of the funnel, middle of the funnel. And now we're going to retarget them with our third video. So we will go to, after you set everything up, you will go to your ad level right here. And then you guessed it you're gonna add your retargeting video. So let's say that's our retargeting video. Okay, you load it up, you publish the campaign, and let me walk you through and how this looks. So essentially, what you've done is built an ecosystem uh, or a journey based on your brand. So you have video number one, which is gonna be your awareness, right? Then you're gonna have video number two, which is product showcase or service showcase, right? You show the product being in used or an unboxing video with a showcase that, you know, you showcase the experience of receiving the product or the product being used. And then your third video is gonna be your retargeting video. So now you're telling a story through three videos and the more they watch, the farther down they move. Now, the other cool thing about this is you gotta remember you can actually build custom audiences based on the percentage of how much of the video they watch. So you can build custom audiences based on video number one on the Vernus videos that watch 95% of the video or 50%, right? Or you can build one that's about the product showcase, 75% of video watch, right? 10 seconds and so on and so on. Now, this is what makes it so powerful uh, to scale your account when you have a winning product because now you can create lookalikes based on each step of the funnel and how engaged people are, right? So guess what? If I build a lookalike based on the custom audience from num video number two, now this lookalike, it's gonna include all the people from video number one that moved to number two. So now I know that if I create a lookalike, whether it's a 1%, 2%, 5%, 10%, these people are more likely to pull the trigger on the first ad because now they've been involved in two videos, right? So this is how powerful this can be for you to scale your account. So make sure that when you're doing this, this you know, you're advertising on Facebook, don't just rely on one video showcasing the product. Take into the journey, take into the experience and make sure you create this custom audiences and lookalikes because you can get crazy with lookalikes. You can do zero to 1%, one to 2%. You can do a whole 10%, right? And you can target, you know, purchase objective. But guess what? If you want to keep scaling, you can do, you know, the same 10% audience, but initiate checkout objective. And that's still a good pool of people because most people who go through and say checkout, that means they, they purchase the product anyway. So this is how you scale an account and this is how you get the, the audience involved. You tell them a story. Don't just throw a video out there or an image out there and then hope for the best. Guys, if you like this video, please check out the links in the description below. Help support the channel. And if you want to keep learning about Facebook marketing, Facebook ads, and digital marketing in general, make sure to check out one of the boxes right above me. 
and I will see you guys in the next video.